My name is Sebastian and in this video I want to show you how and why I'm using Vim, the editor, for my everyday writing, for technical writing, for journaling, for writing emails. And this sounds weird, but I'm really using this on my system, especially on my well, command line environment where I can start up Vim quite quickly and say, okay, this is actually, well, what I'm using for a lot of writing. So assuming I would like to write an email, something like, dear sir or madam, uh, hello world. Vim is great for writing and then some signature best regards my name. You can go and copy and paste this. I paste it into my email, press send and that's it. And this is not a joke. This is really what I'm doing for writing email, especially the longer ones, not just for writing as this writing or these sort of uh, templates work in a lot of environments, but especially for editing text, right? So if I say, well, I would like to navigate around here using this Vim concept. I would like to change this here. I would insert uh, this word to something else. And this really helps a lot, especially if you're used to this Vim way of typing. And well, obviously these things, so what did I do here? Well, I used some sort of live templates or snippets that I defined for all of this boilerplate stuff, right? Like some salutation here, some, um, sal um, some signature that you insert all the time. So this really just helps. The obvious one to have is something like your name, right? Like things you type all over again. That's actually very similar to what you would do with code in your IDE. So, and then you say, well, for example, uh, this guy is working as software developer with Java, let's say enterprise Java, Quarkus, microservices, architecture, implementation, specification, you know, whatever you have, typically the longer words, that is a little bit more uh, cumbersome to type, especially if you're not a native English speaker. But of course, this works in all languages. So just things that you type all over again, this can be something like that. Or you could say, well, things that are just a little bit harder to type, um, for example, something that you would type in an uppercase. So just type it lowercase and have a template for this. And no joke, I do this um, all the time, like GitHub, uh, YouTube, especially the camel case words, where it's just a little bit more effort uh, to type this. If you do it often enough, it really makes sense. Um, what also works uh, in Vim and in, in a lot of other editors is something like the completion feature. I map this to control P, for example. So this just completes a word that is already has been using in this text. So then just say, okay, you can uh, scroll through, through these findings. It's a little bit like a search. So that works as well, but I'm a big fan, especially of this templating or snippet options of defining these things. So how does this work? Well, I can show you my examples, but this is just, again, an example. You will come up with your own ones, but you can check them out on my .files repository and especially how to set them up. Um, this works in Vim with this plugin approach. So I have a, a bunch of plugins here for this, well, Vim snippets and ulti snips uh, is that called, uh, and tab for expanding as you've seen. So this works just for these snippets. And then of course you can define all of the things that you have, many, many of these. It works of course uh, uh, really well with words. It works also well with words that, well, as this one comes in, uh, in a camel uh, case or in uppercase or something like domain driven design that you can have in multiple layers, something like that, or a command line. I type this a lot. So things like this that really help you a lot. So that's quite um, helpful as well as, you know, some common English things with regards to just things that you type all over again. Just have a look at that. Um, and this is a little bit nicer to type then. What is also helpful to use these four symbols, that's kind of cool. So if I say I have something like the bullet list, I would like to have that's actually not a dot, that's a Unicode dot, a different symbol that I expand with this as well. I can have something like a check mark. I can even have a coffee mug or whatever, you know, or you can insert some emojis in this way uh, that also with some, uh, works with some other plugins. But just in general, what you would like to have in that regard or what you would like to expand. So that's pretty cool and I think just really helpful to make that writing a little bit more worthwhile. But there's more, especially with regards to a little bit automation that you can do. You can also use these snippets as some sort of functions or callouts that you can use to trigger something that maybe calls um, a command line function. And the obvious one for that is having something like the current date in the ISO format or in a different uh, format that I use for the German date format or something like, well, 
insert a Unix timestamp, right? Or insert, I do this quite often with technical editing, a UUID or a different one. So it generates um, a new UUID, things like that. You can ins uh, insert some blind text like uh, this one that is uh, also helpful. Just anything that you can uh, automate in this regard. If I would go and save this file, I can also show you another example that I use quite often. I can say I would like to include the path of this, uh, of this current file, the absolute path that is helpful or just the file name. So just, you know, in order when you edit something that is helpful for all of these small functions that otherwise you would, well, need to do manually. So there is a big automation aspect in that as well. And that's basically what it is. It's just another form of automation here with a lot of writing. So if you want to insert this for yourself, then just, you know, think, think of what are, are the sort of boilerplate snippets that I keep typing all over again. You can start with your name. You can start with words that you type a lot, especially if you use this a lot for typing, you can actually look at your text. So what I did with Vim, I actually used Vim to write my book. So that was written in ASCII doc and I used this a lot. And then it really helps if you keep typing all these words all over again. Um, I use Vim for journaling. So asking myself, um, well, personal things about the day, what went well, what didn't go that well, what could be done better. Um, you can do this with some snippet as well, right? Like just insert a snippet with some placeholders and ask you these questions and then fill it in. That's really helpful. And this is where this editor can shine a lot. Basically any editor, but just I think once you're used to this Vim way of um, typing and navigating, especially with these ways, that's just really helpful as well. So this is what I'm doing a lot. I write my emails also. That's not a joke in Vim. The longer ones, I write most of the text in Vim. That's my um, default scratch pad. And I think uh, these uh, things and functionalities just help a lot with the snippets. You can check out the code uh, on my dot files. If you found this helpful, I have a whole video course in this topic, link down below. And also if you liked this video, I would really appreciate a like. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.